Namaste and uh, whatever time of the day it is, wherever you are, my beautiful goddesses, my beautiful queens. I was uh, thinking half of a night uh, today and um, I've decided to do because I know quite a bit of uh, beautiful spreads and some of them are even two, three, four cards. I will be doing more spreads um, more readings which are designed for you to help you find you to help you heal to help you find your strength to help you uh, see that light um, in the dark in the darkness just will be trying to do more of those um, I um, shouldn't be bothered uh, because th this is not me, you know, when I'm getting bothered uh, how many uh, thousands of subscribers I have. I am even surprised uh, at uh, myself that I even started to be bothered about it. I think it started to happen uh, in my life, so I uh, should pay attention. I never was bothered by amount of uh, subscribers. It, it never bothered me. To me, is most important those who need to hear it will hear it if people consider that information which I am giving is not valuable and they don't want it and they don't need it. This is their free will. This is their life and I shouldn't be uh, upset or bothered because I have, unfortunately, a savior call, it called complex, complex uh, spasitis, a complex of a savior. I am now always uh, try to, you know, to run and to, um, uh, you know, if I see see a bullet bullet uh, bullet flying towards someone uh, i will be running and blocking it with my own uh, body and without even thinking it's just a type of personality i have but uh shouldn't be bothered about uh, that i just must do what my heart tells me to do uh what i feel passionate about uh, even if i have uh, uh, i don't know um 1,000 subscribers left. Uh, the most important, those who are staying with me, they uh, they are staying with me. Uh, if you can, please uh, support my channel uh, with um, uh, the... Uh, uh, donations or uh, e or even if you don't have anything just um, stay with me and uh, I hope that what I'm giving you information what I'm giving you is important so what I want to tell um, today is very important uh, very 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 important and um, this is tragic of course the amount of manipulation nowadays are done on people uh even i have i didn't remove it i have right here um the type of uh narcissist which is called grandiose even um they call them sometimes text a book a narcissist he possesses four c's uh, charm charisma confidence and cleverness and usually keeps you on a hook with these three things hope uh, of things things are gonna change fear of uh, losing him or or of staying alone or something like this and the guilt so um these are pretty much the methods of manipulation of uh, almost all of the manipulators there are seven types of narcissism you can watch the videos i already told you that i'm gonna link dr romani to each one of my video it's gonna be under this video because she's a life savior but also she has tons and tons and tons of information but after watching her videos still about 5 a.m today now there are still some things <laughs> super big probably dr romani does know them but i didn't find that yet in her videos there are some things which i <laughs> which i know she she doesn't talk about so i will share them with you uh, especially I'm gonna make a video how to forget a person why is that you can't forget a person it's the physical dependency believe it or not codependency is actually physical dependency on uh, the uh, abuser because any manipulator is a psychological abuser professionals are don't agree um, by calling a manipulator uh, and a narcissist a psychopath uh, and and 
um, I totally agree with Anna uh, Baginskaya saying that if we called a pickupper, a manipulator, any type of narcissist abuser just with the word psychopath, this uh, war, this uh, world would be a different place, a much safer place, brighter place, because manipulator, narcissist does not sound as scary as a psychopath and in fact all of them manipulate all of them are abusers abusers emotional abusers spiritual abusers um, mental they are abusers even if he doesn't hit you if he even if he's not physical with you some of them are putting such an abuse um, over you that even if you had been one month with such a manipulator, it might take you a three months to recover. Imagine if you had been a year there or 20 years or 15 years. So the subject today is extremely important. As, as well as I consider this information is extremely important to every one of my videos. Do not ever, please do not ever uh, take back a manipulator, call him any or narcissist manipulator, uh, psychopath manipulator, whatever. Um, why? In case if you escaped uh, yourself, if you absolutely got yourself together and you got a courage and you got the strength to escape, you moved to another city, you uh, blocked him everywhere, just uh, this is the situation which I'm going to tell you, if you, if not he who left you um, and walked away, this, if uh, the manipulator found you no resourceful anymore, because for manipulator, you are not a human being. He has no empathy and no compassion. For a manipulator, you are not a human being. He doesn't care what, uh, what you feel. He doesn't give a damn about it. So he, you know, you had uh, connections, you had career he was using uh, your resources or whatever resources um, he was using now he find that you are not resourceful anymore he is gone you are lucky if that happens because uh, this way manipulator is not gonna try to get his revenge but please 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 be careful if you escaped yourself if you cut all the connections with him and you escape to yourself, what is going to happen? You think what? He's going to forgive you? He's going to be okay? He's going to be fine? He's going to be cool? No. This is when this wolf had the sheep which he could eat every single day. He could eat that sheep every day. And now this sheep, this food is just saying, you know what? No way. Uh, and some very often girls must escape in secret. You cannot tell him I'm leaving you because he's going to try to hold you by using all kinds of usual manipulation, which is hope. Now I understood everything. Everything is going to be all right or fear and who needs you. Or some of them even tell you that they will commit a suicide if you leave them. I had seen it two days ago ago i spent two hours on the phone with a woman who was 12 years with a manipulator with a grandiose narcissist in her case a big shot guy um in new york a big fat lawyer or whoever he is uh hope that now everything is going to be different you know what happened and she called me she cried uh, he has, can you imagine this? The guy has a pet who is a python, you know, uh, what kind of a, you know, when, pay attention to such things. You, you might be thinking, you know, what a, you know, a extraordinary man, a pet, not a dog, not a cat, a python. So 
and she's not stupid she has a job she's smart she's also a pleiadian so uh, very psychic and uh, a python you know uh, like gets away somewhere and he comes home and he he gets physical and when he beats her he tells her this is the right thing to do you know you deserve it when i was listening to it i was like shaking like this uh, if she wasn't in new york uh, uh i I, I am afraid, you know, I get um, I get uncontrolled rage when I see uh, the 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 behavior like this. Uh, I swear, I, I would get physical with that guy uh, myself. But she was in in New York, and he he was hitting her and he was beating her, um, telling her uh, and I am telling her that she deserves it, she, that that this is the right thing to do, and you know it's the right thing. You do, this is terrifying. It's just ter terrifying. And what happens is uh, she when I talk to her and I am in shock, and I tell her why don't you leave? Uh, he's uh, she says he tries to commit a suicide when I leave. As soon as I leave, he just he uh, he falls on his knee. He cries. You know what the nickname she has for him? Um, a little crocodile, uh, krokodilka in in Russian. Little crocodile because when she tries to to get away, he he cries tears he's in her feet he's begging her to stay so he he holds her in a hope that uh, now everything is going to be different fear that you know you're not going to survive and guilt and he basically just takes whatever he takes and he tries him he she tells me he was actually doing it i said listen this is the performance the grandiose uh, narcissists they are up uh, they are performers they are grand that's why they are grandiose uh, they are putting out the performance out there um and um Finally, she she told me today uh, she found a place to live, um, and she lives in secret uh, because very often why you must never say with grandiose narcissists with covert narcissists uh, very often covert is overlaps with grandiose. You must never tell him openly that you're a narc. You know I know you're a narc, but don't do this. Uh, you you must never tell openly that you mu you are gonna leave him because he's not gonna let you go he's not gonna let go of his food they don't do this so if you leave uh, usually if you leave if you get your courage together and you do leave um, what he does and it's gonna seem to you he let you go and you start putting those pieces together of yourself you start to put those pieces together you start to recover little by little but um uh, and you don't hear from him, you know, he doesn't call, he doesn't do anything, and you start breathing freely a little bit, you you stop being scared of every breath you take, because what narcs, living with a narc, is, is you're afraid of your own shadows, of course, it's love bombing, of course, it's gaslighting, please look up what gaslighting is, it's a method they use, um, and uh, um, what happens is uh, then uh, he doesn't react anyhow to your leaving and you start thinking that probably you are now safe, okay? Probably you are now safe. This is the case if you escape yourself. He's, he hasn't forgot anything. He is waiting. He is waiting for the time to pass. Why he's waiting? Because with time... Well, time is a doctor, time heals everything. Uh, you are going to, you know, start to kind of probably forget the horrific things and probably, usually we have tendency to remember um, only good things and uh, the, the terrible things are uh, get a little bit down. Uh, if you were dealing with grandiose narcissist, uh, the, uh, the good days with him are really good they're awesome they're fantastic he like you feel like you're in a movie uh, but bad days with him are really bad so um, he waits and he can uh, wait for uh, from three months to uh, even sometimes some of them wait for even a couple of years please get it please write it on the wall 
they uh, don't forget nothing. They don't forgive nothing. They need their revenge. They are terrifying beings. He is going to wait, even if he has to wait 10 years uh, for getting uh, his revenge on you. Believe me, he's going to do it. Because the way they're, they're wired, we don't get it. We don't understand how you can hurt someone knowingly and feel nothing. We don't get it. We, we cannot understand how the hell can you be like this? How, how is it possible that this is a human being who acts like this? Um, but you have to be very careful. So it could be three, six months. It could be a couple of years and you're going to forget, you're going to come down and suddenly he is going to come back. I had seen several examples of these girls. Please be careful. I know that this video is going to have a couple hundred people watching it. But those who's going to watch it, probably even if one of you escapes the claw of this beast this is already going to be good means that i've saved somebody please spread the awareness and uh, warn others about it it's not uh, your responsibility for them to make a right choice but at least you can tell them so he comes back Especially if you are dealing with grandiose or covert or overlapping grandiose and covert uh, any type of manipulator. And he's going to come back to you as, uh, I, I don't remember this movie, I think Chandni or Mary Chandni with Sri Devi. He's going to, you know, fly a helicopter over your house dumping rose petals. Well, not that, it, it depends. Grandiose narcissists would do that. Or he would, uh, anyway, he's going to come back to you as the best uh, miraculous human being you had ever seen and met or seen in a movie. This is a facade. This is a front. This is all fake. Please tremble. Don't be happy, but tremble with here because he has come to make you pay. And in order to make you pay, he must convince you he is now, let's say, awakened. He had changed. He had been, some of them even will tell you he went into therapy. He, um... He now understood everything and they cry. They really cry those crocodile tears. Um, oh, girls, it's terrifying. I, you know, I saw uh, that they're going to be standing on their knees. If they have money, they're going to have, I don't know, the diamond. The, usually, actually, grandiose, whatever grandiose screws up, grandiose brings uh, the victim uh, the diamond something. I had seen a woman, uh, the terrifying story story a woman married to a very wealthy grandiose narcissist in a state of Texas he was cheating and he was physical with her as well it, it was uh, the abuse on severe abuse and every time he would be physical with her she's covered with all the bruises he would just bring her a little box with you know diamond necklace or or something like this and every time she would find out about uh, lover number 370 he would bring you, you know, like, like that. Um, she was there for years because it was high society and she was uh, from, uh, you know, ordinary family. She couldn't leave because when she was trying to leave, he told her, no, if you leave, the, the thing is you don't have no money. You're not going to be, be able to survive. I'm going to keep uh, the children. But he told her also, I'm going to convince everyone that you are nuts because you know you're, you are nuts because this is called gaslighting. You know you are nuts. You know that you are, have psychological issues. I've seen terif terrifying 
the movie in your eyes by the way you can see this beautiful movie in your eyes when her husband puts her in psychiatric ward and she's being locked there and she's being this psychotic medication because just because she was trying to to get away from him Th this is terrifying you have to understand that you are not dealing with a human being they don't act like human they are they are beasts they are, they are horrific please don't underestimate a manipulator they don't have compassion and empathy don't have compassion and empathy don't have it so he needs he comes to get his revenge so whatever he tells you first he just going to try to convince you to to get back together so he's gonna use everything you name it uh, first he's gonna be bringing you flowers probably inviting you for dinners or trying to do anything to make you believe a fairy tale that he had changed but he had come to make you pay he had come to make you pay another double price for escaping from him and if that you escape from him now he has to look for another source you know now he uh, you escape how dare you escape you are designed to serve him you are designed to be his slave especially if it's a grandiose and not only you're designed and born to be his slave you must be happy that you are his slave you have to thank god that he has allowed you to be at his feet like this as a doormat as his slave so if this is not going to work so for a couple of weeks even probably even for a couple of months he convinces you that he has changed you don't buy it usually usually women get it right there get him back uh, then he he will start connecting with your family members probably he knows your mother if it was your husband or your friends and he would come to your mother with bouquet of flowers and candies and he's gonna say i understood everything i realized everything i love her i screwed up but don't anyone want you know deserve another chance and then or your father or your mother or your friends and they all are gonna come to you and say well take him back give him another chance you know what why don't you try if it, especially if you have kids maybe you you know it's for kids anyway kids of narcissistic father are gonna be screwed up for the rest of their life never never stay in relationship with a manipulator for kids you are screwing up your kids girls you, you know miserable suffering mother miserable and suffering children they don't they might not understand what's going on they read everything on the vibration level so then he's gonna uh, link all the uh, all the relatives if that is not gonna work then it's gonna be uh, the uh, guilt uh, how can you do such thing to me i have come to you with peace i have come to you with open heart blah 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 then he's gonna give if it if that's not gonna work he's gonna give you now jealousy he's gonna tell you well you know you're not the only woman in the world you're not the only woman in this um in this city and then he's he'll find a way to let you know that he uh, you know had dinners with another woman or he can uh, there is such a truth that he sends you a text message with a different name uh, kind of like a mistake and now you start thinking oh no you know if i don't take him then she, she's gonna take him maybe i'm an idiot maybe he did change they don't change don't change don't change anyways you take him back and for the first several months even up to six months even up to a year sometimes he can be a dream man especially as i'm repeating myself grandiose and covert uh but it's a mask and they hate wearing those masks they 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 waiting for the moment to get their revenge and uh one of the uh one of the comments uh, i've seen uh, under my one of my video a girl said uh, and i took him back and he served me a divorce 
paper on a Valentine's Day. I, okay, I will tell you a real story from my client. He convinces her to go to Paris, you know, romantic city, to Paris for Christmas time. And, you know, they get married again. And six months, it's a fairy tale. They come uh, to uh, to Paris and he, res you know, he, he um, reserved this nice table, this, this dinner, you know, and... Um, in Paris, while he tells her, I have a surprise for you, you know, she's drinking her champagne, all happy, romantic, and, you know, I, I think it's a habit of their serving dis divorce, uh, divorce paper in a, you know, uh, <laughs> on a, some romantic occasion or a, on a Valentine's Day. I think it hurts you more. And he gives her the envelope, like, this is for you, and she's like, what, you know, must be maybe, maybe it's something beautiful, maybe, he, you know, know and she opens it up and uh, it's divorce paper you know I am leaving you I actually have a woman in the hotel who I love and I'm I, I, I am going to her right now so he brought her to Paris he created all this bullshit to just to hurt her to hit her to destroy her to crush her another another case I'm gonna tell you also real case when he convinces her also it, it because it's they can play they can wear the masks but uh they hate these masks they wear but some of them are so used to wearing masks especially if um uh, if he, his uh, um profession somehow connected with the acting so it's not a big deal for for him to wear the mask but at the same time though so they they hate this max masks they wear but in order to get their way they have to wear those masks so what happens um, uh, he convinces her to move to another country, you know, uh, to immigrate. So uh, she sells everything. And can you imagine, put everything on his name, um, uh, all the money, he has all the money. She, you know, she trusts him, you know, he's changed. He's now Prince Charming. Uh, and uh, she trusts him. And they they got to another country where she doesn't even know the language, like on the other part of the world. Um, and he simply uh, leaves her. Can you imagine? He takes her documents, uh, her her everything imagine the situation he leaves her on the street in some little neighborhood uh, and drives away no money no documents no nothing and she doesn't even know how to say, you know, how do I go to police? She can't even explain uh, nothing because I don't remember what uh, Philippines, I guess it was uh, something like this. And she wasn't even speaking English that, well, you know, hi, bye, how are you? What is your name? So um, she had to stay in that country uh, for a year and a half until her relatives found the way to get her out. It is a terrifying story terrifying you must understand once and for all they don't have sympathy they don't have empathy and the more you suffer the more he gets his satisfaction the more he makes you suffer because for leaving him he now's gonna get his revenge and he can wait Please remember, not just for months, for years. I know another woman, he came back nine years ago, and it was the same story. It was also the same story. Uh, I will tell you the story that um, they bought a house together, blah, blah, blah. And she, her mother got sick. She went to her uh, to visit her mother. Mother died. Okay, and after funeral, she comes home. You know what she sees? He comes out, and he knows that mother dies. She's just from just from funeral. He puts her suitcase outside the door, and he says, "You know, this is yours. This is all what belongs to you. This whole house is not yours." And uh, I will send you divorce papers, and I have uh, I I have another woman, and she sees in a house there was. 
uh, a woman uh, already and uh, it turns out to be that uh, she lost everything in uh, whatever she was having she had this little suitcase with her uh, this is all he he did it just after she lost her mother after a funeral of her mother can you imagine a level of this horror so please 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 do not ever take them back because god forbid you're gonna take him back you're gonna pay such a price that you're gonna curse everything under the sun please if you managed somehow to escape from a manipulator from a narcissist from that psychopathic type of beast please just block everything you can you can think of change your numbers your emails your address because the thing is he'll he'll find you uh, another story i read he he found her in another uh, in another country she moved to another country you know there are ways to find anyone he found her in another country and he came to get his revenge please do not take them back because you're gonna be so sorry please 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 of course it's your choice what you do with your life but i consider my duty my human duty to warn you about it and please do not ever take abuser manipulator psychopath narcissist back they don't change they don't change they do not change the snake cannot become a swan and i hope that you heard me namaste